Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My name is Abdullah Hamid al-Din and today we'll be looking at an EE472 project topic regarding MRI chemical shift imaging MRI is a popular modality of imaging due, its higher, due to its high resolution with pictures that are on an, an anatomic level but sometimes we need to understand or we need to know what is the chemical composition of such picture or what does uh, a certain part of the picture uh, comp is composed of chemically to get a better understanding of chemical shift imaging we'll go through the definition of chemical shift imaging the physics being the chemical shift itself and some of the application that uses chemical shift imaging chemical shift imaging or CSI for short is an MRI technique used to measure or map different chemical concentrations based on a phenomenon called chemical shift Chemical shift imaging is also referred to as magnetic resonance spectroscopy or magnetic resonance imaging. Chemical shift imaging use, uh, is used to generate a graph showing the concentrations of certain chemical or chemicals in a 1D, 2D or 3D voxel. On the other hand, they can also be configured to produce a color gradient image that can be overlaid on a normal MRI image, such as the figure shown on the right where we, where in exhibit A we have uh, a 2D voxel spectrograph and on the image uh, and, and on exhibit B we have uh, an overall volume spectrograph and lastly exhibit C showing a, cl a color gradient overlaid on a normal uh, brain MRI the physics behind chemical shifts is related to the spins physics and how they interact with the magnetic field based on their environment or surrounding chemical composition. Chemical shift refers to the slight difference in resonance frequency of two otherwise identical spins residing in a direct and residing in a different molecular environment. This frequency difference arises because the, res uh, the resonance frequency of a particular spin is not determined by the strength of the externally applied magnetic field B0 but by the local field B local experienced by the spin at an atomic level. For hydrogen spin, chemical shifts are relatively small, with less than a few hundred hertz at 1.5 tesla, but are non nonetheless detectable. Chemical shifts are a result of a diamagnetic susceptibility effect at the atomic or molecular level. To explain it simply, the environment of the spin, including the electron cloud, affect the magnetic field applied to the spin and, in theory, create a shielding effect. Thus, based on the spin environment, the shielding or chemical shift might be stronger or less, thus altering the, uh, the resonance frequency of the spin itself. Because chemical shift imaging corresponds to a chemical or frequency shift, thus it is important to note that the frequency encoding cannot be used in chemical shift imaging or similar technologies. This is, be this is because the imposed frequency gradient will mask the, the frequency shift based on the composition of the spin or its environment. This is solved by using phase encoding instead. Chemical shifts can provide important information about the molecular composition of an area or a voxel. This can be used to study different parts of the body that produce or are measured by chemical concentrations, such as the brain or different glands. This can be used in functional imaging or to study the chemical composition of an area to detect cancerous cells. In conclusion, chemical shift imaging is an important application of MRI as it allows to, to map a spectrograph of the chemicals in a defined area based on the spin's interaction with their surrounding materials. This is then used in applications such as functional imaging to study the activity of a part based on the chemical concentrations in it, such as the brain or the thyroid. At the end, I hope this short presentation was insightful and enjoyable for you. Thank you for your time.